Hello everybody, this is Freddy again with Freddy Can Fly. Um, in today's Heli Tips and Tricks video, we are going to take a look at how to properly um, set in and epoxy the magnets for your fan. Okay guys, so for starters, um, we're obviously going to need our Heli and we're going to, at this point, I usually like to have my governor installed and um, able to provide power to it. That way I can use the governor to make sure my magnets are sensing correctly. Um, so you'll see here, I'm using the Align Governor. Um, I'm a big fan of it. It's a governor I've always used, never had any problems with. And I've got my governor sensor mounted onto the frame. That way I can just use it as a rough idea, um, make sure my magnets are, are working correctly. We'll later adjust this sensor. Um, so we'll need that. Make sure you guys got that. Um, we're going to need the fan that we're using. I'm not using the stock fan. I'm using the Lynx Heli Turbo Boost fan. Um, it's a pretty damn cool little fan if I can be honest with you guys and you'll see here on the top of our fan is where our magnets will be located okay so take note of that um, another thing we're gonna need is our magnets and you're gonna require on, on most applications two magnets there are some helis and fans out there that only allow for one um, but I like to uh, avoid using just one I like to use two that way we can evenly balance the fan out um, get rid of some any chance of vibrations or wobbles um, any sort of a marking device, I like to use uh, just a colored little marker, um, red it, for, for this case. Um, we got a black background, so I figured red will probably stand out the most. Okay, we're also going to need some rubbing alcohol. Um, I have this little nice little acid brush I use to clean stuff with, um, but a Q-tip will work. Whatever, whatever you choose, um, and something to mix epoxy in. Um, I just cut the bottom off of a tiny little. Um, Dixie cup, whatever they're called, um, for, for mixing. It's, it's plastic. The epoxy can kind of eat through it sometimes, so try to avoid paper or wax. Um, and a toothpick, of course, to mix it with, and then we need an epoxy. Now, I'm using a two-part epoxy, um, and, you know, it, the longer epoxy takes to cure, the harder it's going to cure, um, but typically a quick cure is going to work pretty good in this case. Um, I'd recommend anything from like a three to five minute cure. Um, you know, you obviously don't want to wait until tomorrow to make sure that they're sitting in right. So we've got our epoxy, our alcohol, our cleaning utensils, our mixing utensils, a marker to mark our magnets, north and south, pole. Um, we've got our two magnets, our fan, and our governor so we can sense to make sure our magnets are working correctly. So that's our list of supplies, guys. Get these together, get them ready, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so basically for step one, um, all it's going to consist of is making sure our parts are clean and ready for epoxy. Now, I wouldn't say this is a must do, but I would also say that it is a must do. Um, I really think, in my personal opinion, that a nice, good, clean, dirt-free surface is a lot more uh, uh, adherable to an epoxy and any other sort of a sticky material for that matter than a dirty one. And obviously this is a metal fan. It's been machined and it's probably been through oils and grease and dirt and all that stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and give mine a real quick cleaning I recommend you do the same even if you got a plastic fan um, go ahead and just give it a real quick cleaning um, just where the magnets are you know we don't gotta clean the whole thing so I'm gonna go ahead and dip my acid brush in some alcohol and just um, really clean up the holes a little bit just give them a nice good uh, rubbing alcohol off and make sure they're nice and clean um, you know kinda get any dirt and grime out of there um, and as always, guys, you know, keep a keep a paper towel handy. That way, we can clean up our mess afterwards. Um, but you know, that's really all there is to it. Just give it a nice, good cleaning. Make sure it's ready to be epoxied. And uh, there we go. I mean, that's really all there was to that, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our magnets out. Okay, go ahead and set your fan to the side for now. We're gonna go ahead and get our magnets out. Okay. And we are going to get ready to figure out which end is north side and which end is south side. Okay, guys, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to take our two magnets, okay, and they're, they're probably stuck together at this point. Um, and it's actually a good idea to keep them stuck together at this point. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out which one is the north pole and the south pole. Um, and typically the way this, this particular governor is going to work is it kind of follows... Um, I do believe the north pole is going to set off the sensor, whereas the south pole is strictly there 
on the other side of the fan just to balance it out and make an evenly distributed weight on the on the engine fan. So realistically you only need one magnet to work this governor but I, once again I prefer both that way you can um, balance your fan properly. Now um, anyone who knows magnets know that the two um, same ends do not attract but the opposites do attract. Okay. So realistically if you can just stick your two magnets together okay. What we're going to do is we're going to run it under the governor sensor. Let's get out our marking pen. And we're going to put one red dot on the side that sets off the governor sensor or the north pole side. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to just, just pick an end. 50-50 chance right now. It's a coin toss. Okay. And I'm going to run it under my sensor. That end is not changing the color of my LED, which means it's not clocking um, the north pole. So I'm just going to reverse that and flip it over. Okay, now when I run that one under, it's deactivating the light on the governor, which means that it is reading, okay, it's sensing, it's picking it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that end, and I'm just going to color the top of it red. And don't worry guys, this, this marker will probably come off during the epoxy process, um, but for right now we just want it to be red, okay. So you'll see that's nice and red. Give it a second to dry there. Now I'll double check it just to make sure we didn't make any mistakes. Guys, I'm really big on double checking everything. So, okay, everything's working. So, as always, we'll double check the bottom side. Make sure it's not setting off the magnet. Okay. So, now what we can do to make sure that we, when we install these, we don't make a mistake is remove these magnets, take this top one off, and mark the side on the bottom magnet directly, you know, the top side. That way we know bo both north poles are facing directly up and the south poles are facing directly down. Go ahead and get those marked and uh, we're going to get ready to install them into the fan. Okay guys, so at this point it's a good note to probably separate your magnets and keep them away from each other, otherwise they're going to just keep sticking together um, and they become little rascals trying to keep those damn things, uh, you know, in the same area so go ahead and separate them a little bit and um, get your fan out and get it ready um, as, as in the previous segment there we went ahead and cleaned it we rubbed it down with some alcohol okay now basically what we want to do is we've got both of our north poles marked red um, and I don't know if you can actually still see the red sides are facing up right now so that means the south poles are facing down okay and all we want to do is what we should see as an end result is one of these two doesn't matter which one we're gonna pick this one say for example this one should uh, you should see the top red side of the magnet whereas this one you should not see the red side the red side should be facing down um, um, embedded inside whereas on this side the red one will face out which means we have a north pole facing up and then we'll have a north pole facing down or a south pole facing up okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get my epoxy mixed up Go ahead and do that um, right now at this time. Um, do take into consideration we'll probably be talking about some things for a little bit longer than five minutes. So if you have a five minute epoxy, you may have to mix it once or twice. But just do a small, small amount. Um, we really don't need a whole lot for this specific application. So go ahead and get your epoxy mixed up and we will continue on from there. Alright you guys, so here we go. I've went ahead and mixed up my epoxy, so we're going to try to kind of give you a good example and get this sped up here um, but all I'm really going to do is take my toothpick okay and I'm just going to scoop me a good little glob of the epoxy and and just kind of kind of fill in the inside of that magnet hole um, you know where I want the magnet to sit okay just get a little bit of epoxy in there and like I said guys this you don't need to get crazy on this just a little bit okay um, this, this epoxy wants typically epoxy is going to set and it's going to be set Plus the magnet's going to squeegee out a lot of it, okay? So always be prepared for that. But go ahead and get some a good amount of epoxy in there, okay? And when you feel like you've got enough, feel like you've got enough in there, okay? Go ahead and take your magnet. Let me get a better look at that. Get just a little bit more in there. Um, but uh, go ahead, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our magnet, we're going to try to just kind of compress it down into there, okay? Um, and it should fit. A, a good thing to actually, I probably should went over is, sometimes it's good to kind of go over and, and make sure the magnet fits in before you go ahead and epoxy it. Um, just that way, uh, you know, 
we don't try to force the magnet in and then we realize that it won't fit. Okay, and always keep a paper towel handy. Um, dampen it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and uh, make sure you clean everything up um, real nice, okay? And kind of push the magnet down and squeegee all that epoxy out and then wipe the excess off. And don't worry, we're gonna put a layer on top of this, but for right now, we want to uh, just make sure we're getting the magnet itself seated in, okay? So I'm feeling good with that side. As you can see, we've got one red side. So let's go ahead and let's epoxy this other one in while we're waiting here. Try not to, to waste video time, okay? Let's go ahead and get this one epoxy applied right in here. Same thing, and like I said, guys, a little bit, you know, you really don't need to get too heavy on this epoxy at all. Now with this one, make sure our red side faces down when we install it. This is important, because once this epoxy sets, it's in there, okay? So go ahead and wipe off the top. Make sure we're keeping it clean. Um, and some fans like this one, you'll notice I'm wiping from the bottom because it's got a little vent hole for the epoxy to come out of, which I think is really cool. Um, that way I can keep the bottom nice and clean, but I can visually see that it, the epoxy is running out, so I know I've got enough in there. Okay. Um, in most cases, if you don't have that vent hole, it's just going to squeegee right out of the top. Okay. So we've got it nice and clean. Everything's looking good. Okay, and you'll notice we've got one red and we've got one silver or one north pole and one south pole. So go ahead and do this guys, let your epoxy harden and then we'll come back and we're going to put another layer over top but we're going to check the magnets first. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I let my epoxy set and I rechecked it underneath my magnets and everything was um, um, working properly. So I mixed up another little small batch here and what we're going to do on this one, we don't want to coat the top to where it's going to affect the position of our governor sensor. Um, but what I found is, is my magnets, they still have a small little divot in there of space. So what I'll do is I'll drop some on there. Okay, so we're going to put just a little bit of, of goop on there. Okay, just a little bit, just enough. Okay, and then you want to kind of, this is the part that gets tricky, but we, we gooped just a little bit on there if you can see it. And as long as it's thin enough, usually what we can do at this point is I'll take my napkin that I have handy as always, and I'm gonna I'm gonna push it down in there, and then I'm gonna wipe it all off. And all we're really looking for is for it to fill any of the extra space that's left um, from that magnet. Okay, and actually wiped it off just a little bit too much. Okay, so. Sorry guys, this is kind of a hard process to film and talk at the same time. But yeah, we just really want to work a little bit of epoxy onto the top of that magnet. And get it right around the crack there. Make sure that this bad boy is never going to come out. Because I mean, it's going to be spinning pretty quick. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty good with that one. Give a little bit of finger play here. Just make sure that we're fully seated down in there. Try to keep it as clean as you can, you know, it, you really want to make sure it's not looking all crazy. And then what I do is I check to make sure that it's not bubbling out, okay. So we'll come over here to this other side, and at this point, this is probably what's going to take the red marker off, is when we, when we get some epoxy on this red side, let's see if it does. Same thing, we're going to just kind of pull it on there and kind of work it into the, the crack there. Epoxy starting to set on me. And then use our fingers. It's okay to use your fingers, guys, if you have to. Use our fingers and just really work that epoxy in there. And then we'll take our paper towel and clean off any excessive epoxy. And we should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and let this set. And it does not hurt to double check your sensors one more time. And then uh, go ahead and install this to your motor and get it mounted in and program your governor. So um, that's going to do it, guys. That's uh, properly epoxying the magnets in. Um, um, like I said, go ahead and check it one more time. It never hurts to continuously check to make sure you're not making any mistakes. Um, so like I said, once this epoxy hardens, those bad boys are going to be set in there for basically pretty damn hard to get them out ever. So... Um, that's going to do it for this video tutorial. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. And remember, Freddy can fly, so can you.